Alan Kasanoff has released new audio, and without realizing it, he's accidentally admitted there was a physical altercation between him and Catherine. And this is a trigger warning. This audio is difficult to listen to. I didn't touch your nail. Please just go to sleep. Fight. My nail got bent back so bad okay, it's bleeding. I'm sorry. Well, let's put a band-aid on and then like... It's hurting me! My whole body's hurting okay. me from that f***ing fight. Relax. I got my, my neck is cracked. Re What's wrong? This audio was released by CasanoffFacts.com, a website dedicated to Alan's side of the story. There is speculation on who has created this website, considering the registration is set to private, but I think we can all speculate correctly on who's behind it. In the almost 40 minute audio clip, it proves what CPS, police reports, and medical reports already told us. Alan Kasanoff was physical with Catherine. The nail had to be cut off! Okay, so then cut the nail off. I don't have scissors! Okay, I will shit. relax. Relax. We're, we're... I don't know what. I know the girls were supposed to be angels. My girls were never supposed to live through something like this. Catherine, I'm begging you, please go to sleep. My beautiful girls, I just want them to live with. I'm sorry. Now, why would Alan release such damning audio? Better yet, why did he start recording at this moment in time? Was he attempting to show how calm and sympathetic he was? Or did this narcissist finally realize he crossed the ultimate line and he was trying to prove something otherwise? You didn't grab me! I... You can't grab a woman! You can't do anything! Catherine, I didn't push you. I didn't grab you. You didn't grab me! You can't grab a woman! You can't do anything! Or did he start recording because he was trying to prove that Catherine was on the brink of a meltdown, a woman who had battled cancer twice and was dealing with a mentally and physically abusive husband? And let me point out a couple of things. According to recent studies, narcissistic abuse can cause brain damage. But not only that, listen to what Catherine says in this part of the audio clip. How about, what how, about like how my head feels right like now? That. That's why I'm saying to lie down. That's why I'm saying to lie down. And then, and then my bone got cracked on my neck. I know. And my fingernail. And my toenail. I know. Lie down. I can't hear my ears. I don't know what's going on. I'm very dizzy. I can't hear my ears. That's why you need to lie down. I can't hear my ears. Well, do you want to go to the doctor now? No, it's very weird. According to the Mayo Clinic, dizziness, fatigue, ringing of the ears, confusion are all signs of a concussion. How about my dizziness? That's why I'm saying to lie down. That's why I'm saying to lie down. And, then, and my bone got cracked on my neck. I know. And my fingernail. I and my toe lie down. I know. Lie down. And at the end of this audio file, you can hear Catherine talking about breastfeeding. That's right. She had just had a baby. Meaning that postpartum depression was very real. Alan starts to panic. He realizes that Catherine is on the brink of exposing him, so he desperately tries to calm her down. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You have no You're right. You're right. And I'll work on all those things, not for you, because we're done. But for myself. You lie. Okay, I lie. You say weird I lie. things, I, and then you pretend to apologize, and then you no, don't. No, no, I, I, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. Okay, it's I'm maddening. lying. I lied. Okay, I'm lying. Everything I did, you're right. Why would you lie? I, I don't know, because I'm so, I'm a liar. You're right. 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 Just stop. Because I've lost the ability to do it. Just stop. I've lost it. Please, Catherine, I'm begging you. Please stop. Just lie down. Why do you do so? Alan asks Catherine what can he do to fix this, but listen to what she says. She says, by undoing the damage you've done. What will help you? Undoing okay. the damage I can't do that, that. we've done. So all I can do is help. Undoing the years of damage well, that we've done. Well, all I can suggest My is daughter we'll Charlie. Divorced. The way they speak in this audio file sounds like divorce is imminent. 
And if that's true, then the timeline matches the CPS reports and police reports confirming Allen's physical abuse. If that's the case, then not long after this audio was recorded, a protection order was granted for Catherine, and Allen was forced to stay away. Days later, Allen would file for divorce, and the courts reversed the protection order. Then they demanded that Catherine stay away. This audio proves nothing for Alan, and it proves everything we've already seen. This was a broken woman, a broken mother, who had suffered years of abuse. And now, she feels like a failure. CPS reports, police reports, medical reports, and now this audio confirms what we all knew. And the courts didn't care. <laughs> 